Hi guys, good evening. So I'm Ashi Yasin from Team Bridge. We have uh, Sanika Divekar with us today, who is a sport and exercise psychologist, and she's also a former national table tennis player. So she is right now having her uh, uh, entity, which is called the Pink Project, which is a sport and a counseling psychology consultancy. And they are doing some interesting uh, good work. Uh, hi, Sanika. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, let's start the conversation on a positive note that um, although we all of us are going through a very difficult time, but then uh, it is how it is. We cannot deny the situation and take care of ourselves and of uh, people around us. So, Sanika, you just um, uh, tell us that how do we take care of ourselves in this time of isolation and lockdown? Right. Hi, Arshin. It's like you said, we haven't really gotten a chance to interact, but it's because of coronavirus and all that that we are finally getting to interact. So, like like you said, you know, starting on a positive note, of course, there is a global pandemic that we are all being a sort of part of. And, you know, it is taking a toll on our physical health and our mental health. But uh, the first thing that we all can do is accept that we are a part of it instead of running away from the fact that we are isolated and all of that. If there is a change in our perspective, our way of looking at things, it is going to be, it is going to make our daily functioning easier. So that's the first way, like the proverb goes, acceptance is half the solution. Once you know that you are in it and you know there is no other way of going about it, of course our government and everybody have, has taken a lot of remedial measures so as to make our daily functioning feasible, just making sure that we roll ahead, roll along with it and make sure that, you know, we are doing our bit so that we take care of ourselves and ultimately then that adds up as a community and we take care of our community. I would say that, yes, it's definitely a difficult time to be a part of, but if taken uh, the right measures, I'm pretty sure we'll come through this as well on the other side. Uh, yeah. So, Sanika, before we jump uh, straight away into the sports uh, psychological questions, I uh, let, let's dig a bit on the general uh, uh, questions which are right. non-athletes as well. So, uh, what do you think are the main challenges, the mental challenges, uh, when we are caught up in such a lockdown situation? Right. So, uh, typically, main, the main challenge that anybody right now would be facing is feelings of loneliness because of this isolation, a lot of us are not used to being sort of locked down. And the word lockdown has its own sort of effect on how we sort of look at things. Of course, if you look at a Sunday, majorly we spend our Sundays at home or majorly even, even if it's a long weekend, we tend to spend it at home. But the, the word terminology lockdown has sort of added a lot of stuff to the environment. Also, you know, if we sort of like, isolation or feelings of loneliness or feelings of boredom or you know the question that what do I do every time I wake up in the morning what is my routine going to be like you know that's a daunting question that we have so the basic thing that we can do to sort of streamline every day is to chalk out a routine is to develop a routine and sort of stick to it it could be as basic as once you get up in the morning you think about the things that you want to do today say work related pers pers personal related stuff you want to do say indulge in some cleaning or you know having to do may maybe people are used to doing to-do lists and going about the list and sort of ticking off as we go ahead so the basic thing to do is to develop a routine however meager it could be or however whatever things that you want to include and try and go about doing that because if we structure the time well then we you know we will even be productive you know we don't want to just laze around and netflix and chill and binge watch all the time right we yeah. want things to be as they were when we weren't in a lockdown yeah. Of course, you can work from home, you can stay connected with your family and stuff like that. But provided we structure it, you know, how much time do I give for my Netflix entry? How much time do I give for my work? You know, if you sort of put restrictions or put some basic timelines, it will be a normal transition to go about. Yeah, definitely. So let's, let's jump to sports. So how do you think is a sports person mind differ from a non-sports person? And I'm talking about uh, good elite athletes. 
right so now let me turn the athlete mode in me because <laughs> having played sport for 10 years i was completely wired in a different way i can say now that i sit on the other chair i can you know evidently see the difference in how my mind used to work when i used to play and now how it works so typically elite athletes you know since they are a part of a high performance situation all the time in their training as well and and and, and the, in their tournament seasons they tend to look at things a little differently like if you if you ask me personally athletes athletes do not are not faced by any any situation that you throw at them because they know how, what the pressure is they've been there they've felt that some of them have succumbed to it and some of them have even you know sort of come on the other side so the way an elite athlete views a situation his perspective on things his dealing with things his dealing with failures and success is definitely different from somebody who hasn't had that competitive exposure so that's the first sort of thing that comes to my mind also athletes are prone to be in these ups and downs because mm-hmm. like you see the nature of a game or a nature of any sport is so dynamic that you know it, for example i used to play table tennis the scoreboard defines you once you step out in that arena it's only you your racket and the scoreboard that is playing again so you know we are always we have trained ourselves the the environment has trained us the coaches unknowingly have sort of trained us to sort of deal with things that you know on hand so you know thinking smart thinking on the feet or you know being resilient are some of the qualities that come very easy to somebody who has played elite sport as compared to somebody who's not you know there are different like i said there is a major perspective change that we can observe in athletes who are who expose themselves to these high performance situations also the dealing with failure and success or the dealing with difficult situations comes it's like a part and participle of sport right you are you're not always going to win and you're not always going to lose yeah i think after hearing your point of view i feel that uh, athletes will uh, handle the situation better than non sports person <laughs> yeah because i can give you like a quick example like you know like at my home all right my parents work so they are they have their own corporate lives i have been a table tennis player myself my brothers are cricketers so you know we always have these discussions ultimately if you, even if you look at work or if you look at the corporate life it's performance you know meeting targets getting that sales pitch right it's performance it's just how you deal with it it is different so if you know we have a lot of discussions we bounce of ideas you know how i used to deal with it when i was on table you know you know when i was say three love down in a match and i knew that i could turn it around what was that one thing that i used to say to myself or what is the one thing that my mother says to herself before stepping in onto a board meeting or stuff like that a lot of parallels can be drawn because ultimately it's human performance it's how you perform once you are put in that evaluative setup so it's just that you know we need and of course this has now come to me with a lot of introspection this perspective doesn't come you know at a whim yeah. it comes when you sort of take a step back and think about the things that you've been doing and this is i would say a positive part of this corona virus where me and my parents have gotten to talk about things like this otherwise we are always on the go we're always running running behind our appointments this connection that we have built where i can use analogies that they tell me in my sessions or you know they can use something that i say when they talk to their colleagues which i feel is a very good you know thing that has come out of this stay yeah. home right 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 So Sanika recently the uh, 2020 Olympics are being postponed to 2021 as all of, all of us know so uh, yeah. what do you think how much of a challenge uh, will it be for athletes to reset their minds and focus how difficult it will be it is definitely a huge change in an in an athlete's sort of a trajectory of a career to say so olympic is something that comes every 4 years so you know you every day is a part of your preparation for that four year thing right so it's like abhinav bindra had said it's not every four year it's actually every day that you prepare for that four year performance so of course it's a huge change for athletes who have sort of even you know we had news where athletes had qualified from the quota they were of course if you look at table tennis the qualifications were still to be held so it's a major shift in everybody's calendar and planning and preparation uh, and after i see that the second important thing it's a very personal change so i wouldn't go 
and say you know to develop an envelope sort of a solution for everybody because every athlete deals with it on a different level there are athletes who might really get bogged down and would need extra support in this situation whereas there will be athletes who will head on to it like on recently i don't remember the the athlete athlete's name but she was an athletic runner who had put on you know on twitter and she said it's fine i waited for four years what's another six months going to take you know you know there's a perspective change there you know there's a there's a change in how she's trying to look at the the delay in things of course it's a huge change it's a personal change to say so and not only athletes the coach fraternity will also get equally affected because now there will be more time to prepare more things that we can you know add to our practice and training so positively looking at it if we say that we can only say that we have a lot more time to train now yeah. we have a lot more time to get physically fit or mentally tougher that that's one way to look at it and again you know let's not bombard those athletes with things that you can do let them accept it on their own pace with their own emotional management let them sort of up imbibe that it's a, it's a huge environmental change to say so in an athlete's life right so let let them accept it let them get on with it and then we can have conversations to you know as to what you can do now how you can use this time productively rather than you know just you achha ye karo wo karo you know maybe focus on this focus on that let it take its you know natural course of time and i'm pretty sure at least to prepare for olympics have have that edge so you know we can then make advantage of that edge and tailor conversations like that yeah so also you know from my personal experience what uh, i have noticed is uh, so basically this is my i think 10th uh, day of uh, self isolation in a room and uh, you know like initial 2 3 day- days okay i i like normal i wake up in the morning do work from home and then i realized that okay i'm uh, not doing any um, physical activity any uh, indoor exercise or anything or yoga or something of that sort i just taking a toll on me okay and the third day i thought that okay no let me just uh, uh, start doing it i did it for like Uh, two three days and then uh, what i noticed that it's very easy to um, uh, convince oneself to not do it rather than doing it uh, it's like okay you get up in the morning and then you again uh, get, go back to sleep that okay rehne do nahi karte karo kya karta hai kya jayega so how do we yeah. do with this i'm i'm sure most of our viewers will relate to this particular question yeah yeah so so like i was saying you know it's it's very easy to not do anything at home you know we are in our comfort zone we are in that sort of cocoon where it's okay there are parents to do stuff but like i said every morning or the night before you sleep if you can have a small 5 minute conversation with your own self about what you want to do tomorrow and just try and push yourself don't make a 10 point or to do list start with doing two things at a time and then gradually work your way up to a lot of doing a lot of things in a day it could be as easy as waking up in the morning and spending time with your own self making your breakfast on your own making your coffee on your own could be easy things to sort of get yourself in the role of doing things mm-hmm. and then you can you know further go and add tasks as to stuff like that also you can have you can maintain a diary and you start writing things on kya cha mujhe and i call ye ye karna hai yaar you know tomorrow today i saw this episode so maybe after tomorrow i'll see day after tomorrow maybe i'll continue with that series and let me get some work done tomorrow if you put yourself on a schedule like you do when you are in your office or i'm pretty sure when we are all working or for even an athlete he has a fixed regimen or a routine to follow so let, let's come back to sports uh, because you are sanik and we are the bitch yeah. so the most common thing to talk about is sports we which we have so see finally a part from the uh, international stars the big stars there will be uh, aspiring or uh, budding sports persons who are stuck in this lockdown with uh, hardly any support uh, to train mentally so how do you go about it any advice okay so as a sports psychologist it is it is usually a task for me to connect to the masses where i can go on and help athletes where the resources haven't reached yet like you said a lot of athletes in india 
you know don't know whether there is a sports psychologist to say so which can help me train on a mental level right the basic thing that they can do is stay in touch with their coaches because now every athlete has a coach or every athlete will have some senior that he can refer to and relate to and have conversations about this so it's easy to stay in touch with the coaches because the coaches that i work with we have designed a routine and a regimen for athletes that things about that they can do at home to stay in touch with their sport and their practice on a regular basis so at least to say so can begin doing basic thing home for example getting the physical fitness training done so that you know they they at least believe that they are still in the preparation zone they have not been completely isolating themselves from the sport it's very easy to physically stay connected with the sport if they get that snowball rolling then we can come on to their mental routines where easiest thing to do is if they can indulge in a little bit of visualization where you know you can just sit in a day say 10 to 15 minutes to begin with and visualize their strokes their matches another thing that they can do is think about the season that they have played earlier or the practice that they have done and you know have a quick analysis of that the things that they did well the things that they didn't do well maybe start writing it down well you know ki acha ye maine kiya tha but maybe these are the things that i really want to improve on so when they resume practice they have stuff that they know that they need to work out on that's how you can use this time productively to develop plans to make routines that they can follow once they are back on the sport also you know there's a quick thing that i can tell you is you know ctc control the controllables thinking about what is in your hand right now amazing is, that's amazing yeah that's that's the easiest thing to do you know ctc control what's what you can control instead of thinking about acha cases bad raha hai you know spread ho raha hai it you know it's a disease it's going to spread think about what you can do on your own what things that you can control you can control your own isolation you can control your own practice and you have 100% control over your effort right you aren't you aren't a puppet nobody's pulling your strings you are the one who who's pulling your own string right so you can think about things jo mere control mein hai my practice how much time do i dedicate in a day for my preparation is in my control how do i schedule that in a day is in my control what do i do for to stay to make sure that i'm in touch with my sport is in my control also to stay connected with my coaches to stay connected with my teammates is in my control i can call up my coach i can have a google meet with my teammates every you know an alternate day for 10 minutes just to stay in touch because as athletes we spend major of our time with our practice partners and you know that goes unnoticed because you know you go for practice you're with them you're in that environment right now you're not in that environment so maybe you know you can use social media to stay connected that's one thing right also the second tip that i can think of on the top of my head is if you have a problem think about it as a puzzle you know think about a problem as a puzzle because think about it when we have a jigsaw puzzle in front of us which the first thing that we do is get the corners get the easiest thing done first and then we work our way up critically solving the puzzle if you look at any problem like that if you look at a problem like a puzzle the basic thing we'll get done fata fat and then we can work through you know the nuances and the criticalities of the problem if we can apply this analogy to anything you know let's start let's start with having to do a mental routine if you don't know what a mental routine is you know just start by sitting you know in a comfortable place and think about your practice your sport your effort your goal for the season automatically you will start thinking about the process that needs to be done for achieving that goal and like i said if you get stumbled there are people like me who are qualified enough to help at least sort of navigate them in this difficult time so there are two things problem as a puzzle and ctc yeah i mean uh, wow i never thought it like uh, this this uh, i put my three personal takeaways one is ctc one is that 5 minute uh, uh, conversation with us yeah like before sleeping for the night before and the third is a uh, puzzle it's it's great and to all the viewers out there uh, we will be putting uh, sanika's and her form's email id if you guys uh, want to reach out to her if, if you guys need any kind of help feel free to reach out to her and uh, uh, sanika it was lovely speaking to you and you know i'm just uh, too happy to speak to you and uh, <laughs> that you will also be very happy 
and uh, the entire team bridge is very uh, happy and uh, honored to have you here for this uh, session thank you thanks a lot thank you thank you and that's that's the one thing that we can do in this time is stay happy stay safe so you know i would like to tell the the viewers of the bridges you can always get in touch with us but the first thing that you can do is take control of your own behavior or your own doing things and only then a professional will be able to help you you know we are not here to give you answers we are here to help you figure out your own answers so you know if you take this into consideration i'm pretty sure we'll have more control over what we do and that is what is required in this 21 day lockdown So I hope everybody stays safe and stays happy. Thank you for having me, or Arshil. Thank you, uh, yeah, guys. So stay tuned to the bridge. Like, subscribe, comment, and do everything, and share this uh, piece of uh, good, inspiring video with all of your friends and family. Stay safe. Bye bye.